Hey guys, D Mike here from the episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We got some world building to do today. Literally and figuratively, we've got some bridge pieces that I'm being very careful to say. Formerly known as puzzle pieces. It feels like a puzzle in my head trying not to say puzzle pieces, so I guess that's kind of fair. Anyway, we've got some things to do today. This is officially a pink Pikmin. I wasn't sure about it initially when I was talking about it, but that's okay. So we're just gonna kind of go... Splitsies with most of these guys, but we want to have... You know, a good amount of the wing Pikmin. Maybe some more reds, maybe... Yeah, that looks... Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. That looks like a good split for now. We're gonna head back up and around, because one of the things... Oh! Excuse you. We don't have time for you. One of the things that I want to do is go and recollect those bomb rocks from the other side of the lily pads, if you remember. We've got some use for those today. There's a destructible rock wall on the other side of the river that I would like to take advantage of. So we'll need to grab all of those again. It doesn't have to necessarily be winged Pikmin grabbing them. It's, it's kind of nice and funny watching them ferry around a little bomb rock, but the yellows once again are the easiest probably to throw and to, to get up there. So, throw four of your yellows, have them each grab a respective bomb rock, or not. Awesome, thanks guys, great. So we're doing okay. And then we're gonna head right back. The majority of all of the things we're going to do today are going to take place on the other side of the river, which can be achieved by going up here, across the big sack that we pushed last time, Slap that sack out of the way. Very good for us. And if you remember, there was an arachnode causing us troubles. It was a bit of a sticky situation, but thankfully it's not anymore. Now, here is where your bomb rocks can come into play. You can throw your yellows up there, and hopefully that's close enough to blow up the wall. I believe it will be. Actually, I don't know if that worked, but we have more, so we're fine. That looked pretty good. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, so I did miss the first one, but thankfully we have four, so we can atone for our sins and blow up that wall. That's actually a place that we'll be heading eventually, not right now, so we don't quite need to worry about that. But there is some work to be done at the other end over here. If you remember, this is where we got what I now know is a persimmon, or persimmon, however you say that word. That's very strange. Doesn't feel right in my mouth. A lot of things don't. But there's a message from Captain Olimar. I consider myself to be a hardened veteran of planetary exploration now. With so many battles under my space belt, I no longer have a need for this little item. I've since buried it nearby. Hopefully someone will be able to get some use out of it. Captain Olimar. Okay. Okay. Now, that area we're not actually able to do much with until we have a captain that we're going to want to throw onto a lily pad with rocks and some winged Pikmin. So we'll have to work quick here. And then we will throw winged Pikmin or not. Great. Awesome. At least throw the rocks. This might take a couple of return trips and maybe we can just lock on and nope, 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 nope. Yes. Great. Okay. So that uh, failed miserably. Awesome. Well, we got the rocks over on the other side with Charlie, so that's good. That's, you know, one of the things that... Oh, it looks like there is... Okay, we are doing super well right now with our button pressing. Just kidding. So this mound... Oh, Pikmin are drowning. Who's drowning? What's also another nice feature is that in moments where some of your Pikmin may be drowning, the winged Pikmin will go into the water and save them. So I think that's a very cute and a uh, very thoughtful feature that they have. So, good on you. Send your Pikmin up here to dig this out. I wonder what it could be. We'll use some of our winged Pikmin here to charge this huge pellet posy. And they should be able to take that back to the old homestead safely. I actually don't want 20 of them to do that, but we have another suit upgrade. 
This one looks as spicy. Get it back to the Drake. Okay. All right, guys. Nice work. As we face the wrong direction. My Pikmin have now dug it up. Reds and yellows. Catch been mustard. Hand in hand. Living in harmony. Good job. Wonderfully done. And they can take that back. We're going to keep this gate down for now. I don't need to fight three giant bull borbs. That sounds like a horrible decision. Instead, I'm going to try successfully to send my winged Pikmin. And there are certain situations where you can't throw Pikmin. Or sorry, where you can't charge Pikmin. It just happens, I guess. So instead, this gives us the opportunity now to have Charlie bust open this shard, have the rock Pikmin all focused together, all focused together, all focused together. Uh, come on, guys, you're letting me down. And we have an arachnode here again. And as we remember, winged Pikmin are pretty effective at taking it out. So we'll have them do that. Some of them can carry the corpse of the arachnode back. I like using winged Pikmin for situations like these because they're essentially pretty impervious to harm. There's not really a whole lot of instances where you have to worry about them being in danger. The, you know, they're not going to be stuck in the water. They're not going to be, you don't have to worry about them drowning, nothing like that. You can move around pretty freely and do what you got to do. So the Drake now is analyzing our uh, new suit upgrade, calling to Charlie. So let's see what, see what we get. This appears to be a pretty fiery acquisition. The Scorch Guard. This undersuit adds flame resistance to our space wear. So that's very nice. We are fire resistant. Very nice. Inflammable, baby. So that's the second of the three elemental protections that we can get. We already are safe from electricity. And now we are fire resistant. So come at me, world. You got nothing on us. And we've got the final amount of the winged Pikmin putting these pieces back. I don't know if I left a captain over there. But we're going to want to go and get them. Don't forget, when you have Pikmin that are moving around and they are picking up pieces of things that are one at a time, in this case, the, uh, the bridge pieces. Did I say puzzle pieces again? My goodness, I am just losing my mind. You're going to want to make sure that you go back and get them. Because if you do not, they'll just be, you know, hanging out. All right, guys, come on hanging out and then they will be eliminated from your squad upon sundown. So just keep that in mind. I may have made that mistake before. Who knows? That's a secret I'll keep with me for the rest of my days. Okay, so we're going to head back over to that area that we were briefly, or we sort of got a hold of it. We were able to blow up that, that bombable wall, so that's very good. And while we're in the neighborhood, we still got more bridge pieces to get, but while we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and lock onto this and have our winged Pikmin continue to propagate. You're gonna want to have about a hundred winged Pikmin to fully clear out this area when all is said and done, just to be, you know, honest. Now, here you can fight the Bulborbs however you want to. We're not going to do that. We don't actually need to do that. And for our intents and purposes... Oh! Apparently... Okay. One of our pink Pikmin got snatched up by this weed thing. Oh, man. Stupid skittering bug. Now you're dead. Yeah. How's it feel? What a jerk. And we'll use the pink Pikmin to carry its corpse back. How's that feel? Yeah, that's right. Revenge. Very vengeful, very vindictive Pikmin player. That's the best way to play Pikmin is to be vindictive. So we're only about half of the way through the day. We're doing really well. Things are going swimmingly so far. But we've got a little bit of... Now we, while we've got some time, we're going to hang tight here for a moment. And we're going to learn about these guys, whoever they are. 
these will become a bit of a nuisance in the future, but for now we've got a little bit of a battle here with our aerial nemesis. We'll come back for that though. In the meantime, we're gonna charge everybody else to knock down this wall. We actually don't have enough winged Pikmin to really make a dent in what we're trying to do. So I will throw my two captains and I will have Alf go on his own. Actually should not have done this. This is gonna take forever. Can I go back? Nope, we are doomed. Excellent. So we're gonna ride to the next lily pad and go back to the start. We're gonna wanna grab. Okay, so it sounds like the sandcastle wall is gone. We're gonna wanna head back. Actually, I don't know if there's a quicker way. There is, but we're not ready for that yet. We have not established dominance over the sack. So we'll go back and do that. We're at the halfway point. We're not going to be able to completely build that bridge today, but we're going to try. So in the meantime, we'll have Brittany and Charlie hang out for a moment while we go back and we'll send Alf back. Actually, it'd be probably quicker just to send, uh, I want to send Alf back to the Drake. Go here, Alf, and then we'll switch to Charlie. And that's a nice little feature that you can do that. We're not actually going to try to fight these Scornets today because we're not ready for that yet. But there is a, another rack node, which we will avoid for now. We blew up this wall here, if you remember. So now we can get this large juice of fruit. And we'll bring Alf back. This is kind of the nice thing about splitting your team up. This is how you do it. We'll have Alf go all the way back. And we should have... I can throw away... Not throw away. That sounds mean. We'll have Alf put away the majority of the rest of the Pikmin. And then we'll have him retrieve some more of the pinks. And in the process, we'll have him go back to where Brittany and Charlie are which is in this general area. I'll have him go there. And this is kind of the nice thing is like, you can subdivide your team and then the game will just, you know, kind of go for it. So instead, we had some of our Pikmin carrying that big green fruit, which is nice. I believe one of these boards is a bit of a trap. So I'm gonna be very careful here when lifting it up. Ah, uh, this is right. You actually do need to have, the only Pikmin that can lift this I'm a, I'm a goof. I should have known this. The only Pikmin who can lift this board up are the uh, the pink Pikmin. So, just to be mindful of that. Did Alf take the short way around? Of course he did. Of course! Why wouldn't he? Okay, that's fine. We will switch to Alf for now with our winged Pikmin, who will wreak havoc on these Scornets in just a moment as we hop across. And we're going to make this extra fun for ourselves and... We'll juice them up, too, just to really get everybody going. Oh, yeah. Here we go, baby. All right, Winged Pikmin. Do your darndest. Get them. Oh, yeah. Scornus never stood a chance. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And while they're very high, we will have them pull this aside. Come on. Should be a pellet in there. Yeah, so you guys can carry that back while you are super high. Nothing like giving your helpers drugs. Sometimes you just gotta keep the people going. And because we still have the winged Pikmin, we can lock onto these bridge pieces, not puzzle pieces, and carry them all the way back now for a ton of progress. And then we can meet back up with Brittany and Charlie and Get some more of this done. Now, one of these is, I believe, a trap. Yes, so these are bulb orbs. This is a trap. So I picked the wrong one. I'm dumb. But that's okay, because they don't see us. Okay, so... They don't actually know what's going on, which is nice. Very good. This would be one of those times where you'd want to have a bomb rock. And they're not going to come out of there. So, thankfully, we can charge this board. And for some reason, it feels the need to show us a cutscene. And this little clipboard area, the hinge, once that's lifted up, 
uh, once you get done with your dating profile, you can uh, collect more of the puzzle piece. <laughs> See, I said I wasn't going to do it, and then I just did it. So use your winged Pikmin. Get the remaining. Nope. Oh, boy. We're getting stuck. We're losing our... Oh, boy. Nope, 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 nope. I forgot. Oh, no. What have I... What have I done? What have I done? The Arachnode. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> we win some, we lose some. We'll have the winged Pikmin attack the Arachnode. I forgot that that was going to happen. I'm so silly. Well, you can carry his corpse back in revenge. I guess that's fair. Oh, my goodness. Ah, <sighs> when am I ever going to learn? Well, in the meantime, we will have Charlie and Brittany uh, go in here and uh, let's just kill all these bull orbs for fun. We'll just throw them in here and have them fight. Everybody get in there. Hopefully it should be enough to do the damage. Get him. Get him. Oh, it's a massacre. Come on. Oh, we are not doing well. Oh my goodness. Alright, you're getting chomped. You're getting chomped. Call off the troops. Call off the troops. Oh my goodness. I'm just... Oof. That was, that was brutal. Probably would have been smart to... Use a bomb rock there and just wipe them all out. But I did not think about that, because I am a, I'm just kind of being a bit of a wiener right now. And not in the good kind. Not a good wiener. In a soggy, s sad, floppy wiener, you know. So now that we do things the right way, we can have our Pikmin. We'll leave a captain here just to be safe. Two captains there, and then we'll have them come back whenever they need to. And did I lose 26 Pikmin? I hope I didn't. That'd be insane. Very unfortunate. So we'll send Brittany back to the base here. Have her go all the way back to the Drake. And we also have the winged Pikmin here. Yeah, so these ones are ferrying stuff around. We'll have Charlie, we'll have her go back to the Drake for now. Is this more self-preservation to make sure that we're not leaving Pikmin behind? So we'll have the ones that eventually will come back and collect the rest of those bridge pieces. That will be Charlie's job. And then we will... See, I should have just waited and grabbed these winged Pikmin. I did not. Ugh. But thankfully, these Pikmin, the yellows and reds have autonomy. They can pick up the remainder of the bridge pieces. I do kind of want to get a little bit of revenge because I'm mad. And we'll use another spicy spray because I'm still angry. We're going to get these bull orbs out of the way. No, attack them. Don't... Don't collect. Attack! No! Get him. There you go. Attack! Yes, my minions. There you go. Alright, so get yourselves repopulated here. I did not plan this out very well. This episode was a bit of a uh, cluster fudge. We'll say that. There. What are you doing, sir? Um, Get over there. Carry this, carry this corpse back. All right. Oh, I'm, this is very stressful, this game. My goodness. Yeah, I could have planned this better. I mean, we did make a lot of progress today, but in the process, I also kind of played like a bit of a, a turd burglar. So, you know, that's not really ideal. That's okay. We'll have Brittany scoop up the squad. We'll have her basically put them back. And then Alpha and Charlie should have the remaining seven. We'll have them go back to the Drake. We don't really have anything else for them to do right now. Yes. So that's one of the functions I need to utilize more is to split up my team. It just kind of makes things easier and you can accomplish more when you split your squad up. Nope. 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 I want the pinks to collect that. Very good. Might as well just try to propagate some Pikmin. This is kind of what's nice about some of these maps is they'll usually have little pellet posies pretty close to the to the Drake or the starting area in general. So you can carry stuff back and, you know, gain some Pikmin in the process while the day is winding down. Always helps. 
Just make sure that you're being very careful and getting your Pikmin all back before the day ends. And Alf will already continue to pluck the Pikmin as we wait. So we're missing three Pikmin. I will let them... I believe that would be the three that are just carrying stuff. So that should be everybody, I think. We just popped out a seed, so... We just busted a seed. Alright, very good. And that's all of them. And we still have a little bit of time. So we'll just take whatever pallet poses we can for now. Just make sure that you've got your Pikmin under your control, because when night falls, if they're not whistled and, you know, actively under your... Under your command. Then you will lose them, and that's bad news bears. Let's see how many Pikmin we got. Okay, so we'll have more than... We'll have more than 100 of the pinks, which is nice. That should be good. You need at least 100 for kind of what we're hoping to eventually do. So that looks like a pretty solid amount. I did a really poor job of Pikmin management today. We did have the largest day of casualties, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, we still made a ton of progress, which I'm pretty proud of. So we can all pat ourselves on the back for that one. Let those Pikmin go back into the onion to rest, and we will end the day. Feels good. All right. So let's bask in victory. I say that as if I didn't lose a ton of Pikmin. No snacks for you, Bulborb. Now you can go and raise that gate and try to attack them, the one where we found the persimmon. Or you can just go around town, you know, bring it around town, around the outside. You don't have to really do anything like that. It's up to you. It doesn't really get you anything unless you need more Pikmin, so. But today, we were able to get... It says new fruit. I don't believe those are different. I thought that was just kiwi, but maybe not. Also, the kind of green plum looking thing is a uh, according to this game is a is a green apricot or like a Japanese apricot something like that I don't know I don't know it is what it is and then the other thing was a persimmon or persimmon however you say it it's a very strange word it's the blonde imposter which I thought was just a kiwi maybe this is some sort of like a golden kiwi or a I don't know I don't really have much of an affinity for the different species of kiwis but there you go Enjoy that. For some reason, they always have you get them in halves. I don't quite understand why that happens, but I don't know. And finally, the Tremendous Snipper. Thick with two Cs. This, my friends, is a pear. I learned something the other day. Uh, one of my favorite kind of fall wintery drinks is apple cider. A similar drink made from pears is not called pear cider, it's called perry. So it's very it's it's perry nice to drink. I enjoy it. I mean, now we're up to 41 vials of juice, so we're doing pretty good. We'll have 40 after we drink some what looks like pee. If you're into that. So now we've got 40 vials of juice. Built most of that bridge. Had oof, way too many casualties. Eesh, 29 today. Yeah, I didn't really play this very well. Um, I totally forgot that that arachnid was there, but you know, you win some, you lose some. We got the flame suit, which is cool. Got some sort of a weird kiwi and then a pear. So, uh, not our best day, but we will have better days. I, I do try to play this game well enough that I'm not going to just be sacrificing my Pikmin on mass. That's not really intentional, so I just need to be more observant. Uh, anyway, we have a message from... looks like Brittany. After observing these winged Pikmin, my conclusion is that they are not very effective in combat. However, since they possess the ability to fly, they can be extremely useful for accomplishing certain tasks. I will keep an eye out for any opportunities to utilize their unique ability. Signed, Brittany. Yeah, at least Brittany's kind of getting up to date now. She's not telling us about yellow Pikmin when we're already two weeks into this game. Uh, Brittany, get with it. But yeah. So, that wasn't too bad. We got our save screen here. Made some decent progress. I missed the casualties, and we'll be better next time. So don't worry. But thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.